In the kitchen, John's chatting to his crustaceans. Well, of all, it's time you win me that thousand pounds. Right into the pan you go. Langoustine's lobbed in, he sears his scallops and serves. Here it is, Bianamara, or food of the sea. Hope you enjoy. Lovely. Thank you, Kylie. No bother at all. Watch your fingers, they can be a bit tasty. <laughs> well, they did warn you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> the langoustines were a wee bit pernickety, but that kind of just put me off a wee bit because it was so pernickety. The scallops, a little bit overcooked. There wasn't enough kind of sauce with it. The langoustines did look sensational on the plate, but as I think we all saw, a bit of a handful to kind of open. OK, so you speak Gaelic then? I used to be fluent at Gaelic. That was my first ever language, was wow. Gaelic. So the family home would have been speaking Gaelic? Yeah, so we went to Gaelic primary school in Glasgow. Come on, give us a line then. Hashit Girach Allen. That does, that sounds Glasgow Swedish word to be. Hashit Gina Allen. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's Gina Allen ever done to you? Allen is beautiful, so I should. This is just beautiful. Just had to start her, and I think it went down well. Um, everyone seemed to enjoy it. I think couldn't get a better start if we tried. With John feeling chipper, the venison goes into roast. So it's on to the jus. He mixes red wine, cream and red currant jelly. I'm quite a pro myself, you know, so I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Nailed it. And the main is served. Oh, dear. Let's hope it doesn't live up to its name, eh? Hey, so what we've got is a bit of oh, dear, which is Isle of Sky venison, roasted vegetables, mashed potatoes, red currant, jus, as they call it. Mm. The main dish was tasty, quite rich. The sauce on the meat was just a little bit too peppery for me. I would be slightly critical and say, if I'm going to be really foodie-wise, it was overcooked. Not the best reaction so far, but there's still Andrea to go. Tasty. Yeah? Mm. Very nice. Do Very love nice. venison. Sounds promising. It was so overcooked. Right. You could tell it was good two pieces of venison he had. It's a risky one to cook if you're not really confident with cooking. Talk turns to John's irritations. But the thing that annoys me, I don't know if it annoys you, but see every place you walk past, pulled pork. I don't know if it annoys you. All the time. Every you go, would you like a pulled pork sandwich? No, thank you. Do you like pork, though? Normal pork? I like pork, aye, but it just seems like... You just like... don't like it being pulled? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anywhere where it is suitable to have your pork pulled? Let's move on, Peter. I'm not even going to answer that. <laughs> I quite like Leona's laugh. I don't know how I'd feel full time with it, to be quite honest. I'm not quite sure. Got Leona here who's got the most infectious laugh ever. That's one word for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> when you laugh, uh -huh. you can't have to laugh. Yeah. It's great. I'm not saying I would grab her and tickle her for an hour. But... <laughs> 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 well, we've just met. <laughs> <laughs> Even though there's a few bits left, oh, well, it wouldn't be because they didn't enjoy it. It was just cooked absolutely perfect. 